Welcome to the how-to video on how to navigate the two different schedulers that Francis Marion University provides for the Writing Center and the Tutoring Center. So we have already created an account, so we are going to log in. We're going to start off first with the Tutoring Center. So I'll show you what it looks like, give you some of the information about that, and then shift over to the Writing Center. So this is the Tutoring Center um, splash page. This is our the beginning of our schedules. You can see that we open Monday, August 30th. This is the first day that we will be open for uh, students to come in for help. Always check, if, especially if you've bookmarked this, always check up here for this little box to make sure you are in the right scheduler. Um, we have had situations happen where students make an appointment and they show up at the Writing Center for their appointment, but they actually made their appointment in the Tutoring Center scheduler. We are in two different locations in Founders Hall. We don't share anything except that splash page to log in. So you want to make sure that you are making your appointment on the correct scheduler. Now, the Tutoring Center is for discipline-specific knowledge. So this is where you're going to come when you need help with math, when you need help with any sciences, with um, foreign languages, these kinds of things. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this limiter. Okay, because if you just make an appointment with anyone that you see here, you'll be like, woo, you'll show up for your appointment for help with math, but they might be a history tutor. So you want to make sure that you choose um, the limiter first before you make an appointment. So I'm going to get help, or Susie's going to get, Stella's going to get help with Math 105. So once you limit, the remaining tutors are going to be who can help you with Math 105. Notice we have face-to-face -face appointments and we have online appointments. So always double check here before you make your appointment so you know whether you're going to come into the tutoring center, which is in Founders Hall 220, or you're going to meet online with your tutor, which uh, I will show you how to do that in another video that will be available on the splash page. So let's say that I want to come in at 1030 to see Zoe with help on uh, my Math 105 homework. So it is a half hour appointment. You can schedule 45 minutes or one hour depending upon the difficulties that you're having, the amount of homework that you're working on, that kind of thing. So I'm going to make a 45 minute appointment because Math and Stella are not friends and she's really been struggling in the class. Only the first week of class she's already been struggling. She's going to come in on the first day that y'all are open. So she's working on homework for Math 105. I'm going to make up a professor and um, wants to focus on finishing the equations the proper way. I learned differently in high school. So your appointment focus is Math 105, and then you create an appointment. So whenever you log in to the scheduler, if you see a bright yellow box, that's your appointment. And so if we click on it, it'll open. It's everything that I have filled out. If you need to update anything before your appointment, you can always edit it. If you need to cancel your appointment, let's say that you figured out how to do those math problems, there was a bolt of lightning that struck you and suddenly those problems made sense. You don't need to see Zoe anymore. You can always just click cancel appointment. And then you'll see the yellow box has disappeared. So whenever you log in to either scheduler, if you see yellow boxes, that's going to be you. You see all these purple times. If you click on it, nothing happens. The person's not working, so you can't make appointments during this purple time. If you see blue boxes, somebody else has taken that tutor at that time, and you cannot open that appointment. You cannot cancel that appointment. You cannot make an appointment at the same time. You're going to have to either choose a different tutor, or you're going to have to choose a different time to be seen. Okay. So remember, tutoring center, always limit first. Now we'll go to the Writing Center. 
Now, in the Writing Center, we don't have a limiter because we can help you with any type of writing that you're doing, whether it's writing for biology, you're doing a lab report, whether it's writing for English, you're writing a 101 or 102 paper, even 250 or an upper level, uh, psychology, history, university life, any type of writing that you are doing, we can help with that writing. So on both of our schedulers, we have a calendar here. This calendar for both schedulers runs till the end of the semester. We are open until Monday, December 6th at 5 o'clock. And so if you know that you're going to have a big project due on the 6th, go ahead and make an appointment with us for November 29th. So Stella wants to see somebody to go over. Uh, she's already gotten her English 101 schedule. She knows that she's going to have a big argument paper that's due the last day of class. She wants to make an appointment with uh, the Writing Center. And so she's going to need a 45-minute appointment. Again, um, the Writing Center has 30 to 45-minute face-to-face appointments. Online appointments are 45 minutes to an hour. And then just like before, you're going to fill out all of this material. Let's see. Um, making sure my argument is clear and I'm not using any fragments. Okay. And then you create your appointment. And so here we go. You can see Monday, November 29th, Stella has a 3.30 appointment with Richard to go over her argument paper. Again, 24 hours before your appointment, you should get an email reminding you that you made this appointment. Uh, and just like before, if you end up not needing the appointment, we ask you to come in and cancel it. That way, that slot opens up for someone else who might need the help. And again, how to do that, you just open up your appointment, click cancel. And then suddenly, your yellow bar disappears. So, thank you very much. Um, I encourage you to watch the next video, which is talking about how to navigate the online tutorial space.